what cleans everything. Hey, it's Steve, welcome back to Clear Direct. We're back at Cascade Customs and Design, not for paint, but this time for carbon layups on a cowling. Let's go. You know what this is if you follow me on Instagram. These are Aerosport products, fiberglass cowl ramps to really smooth out the air and fill this void to prevent turbulent airflow. We got the top cowling and I'm stoked to help out. So we're building the triplet. The idea here is to create some turbulent airflow and really increase the, the vacuum and suck the air out of the lower engine compartment. We've masked off with just packaging tape. So we just mocked it up with a manila folder there and created a tape barrier so the resin doesn't seep down. We're gonna do fiberglass and then pop it, right? And then do a really pretty carbon on the top and bottom of that. So which version of Pro Seal are we looking at? I don't know. Oh my God. There's the part number, if anybody is curious. Genius. I'll never do Pro Seal the old way again. Two layers of glass and then a layer of carbon on top and bottom. So we got a little two-part epoxy with some black dye and some fiberglass. So one thing Stephen thought of was rather than, so this is gonna be removable, right? So I'm gonna drill uh, about five holes, probably secure it with 832 hardware, but I think a and three bolts are a little excessive. So, but I was thinking it would just mount on the exterior, but he's like, well, rather than have, you know, extra layer of disturbed airflow, why don't you just mount it underneath? So we're building it on top, but the idea is most likely, and it, you could probably mount it on either side, but I think I'll plan on mounting it on the interior and it'll be just that much more smooth and good looking. And then we're gonna, uh, of course, like I said, do the carbon fiber and then trim everything, drill the holes and then clear coat it. So it should look real nice. Okay, step one done. Let it cure overnight and then carbon fiber. Are you gonna pop it off and do carbon fiber with it off the yeah. cowling? Yeah, we'll pop it and then uh, do all the work off because that'll hold the shape. So we should okay. have to worry about it going back all the Okay, so the only other thing I need the cowling here for is really to drill the holes and just kind of make sure we trim it accurately. I will see you tomorrow. Step one, we removed it and no damage. That's always a plus victory. And what'd you say? You clean these up a little bit? Just wiped them oh, down a little good. bit, cleaned them up. It still has some flexibility to it. It's, it's rigid, but not. Yeah, and it, it really is just back here that needs to be the most yeah. flexible. So I wasn't super worried about it. Um, the way we were doing it, I think that's totally fine. I, I'm glad we did it this way and didn't, right. you know, add the ton of structure. Goes bad. Yeah, exactly. I saw you trimmed. Uh -huh. I trimmed it up. Trimmed it up. Looks good. Sanding on it. So. Yeah, that's about the right height as as it is. So I wouldn't take it down any more than that. And if I needed <laughs> a few more millimeters, I just mount it to the outside versus the inside, right? Right. And we can also <laughs> with the carbon. So. Oh, you're saying you can? Yeah, you can extend yeah, it with the carbon. Sure, because sure, that's just the core. That's just the. This is just going to give us our shape. All right. What do we need to know? What's what type of resin is that? Uh, it's like Jeffco, 1307. Okay, so you're doing the surface first, that makes sense. Yep. Wet it out. Wet it out. Off camera, we were talking about um, the direction of the fiber and structure and how, what, 090 doesn't really stretch, but 45 stretches, that was in the fiberglass. Is it the same properties? Same exact thing for carbon. <gasps> we're not vacuum bagging it? I what know. the heck? Jeez. No, Settle down. This is an aluminum fab channel, so. <laughs> Looks like one of those visors with like spiky hair. 
I got my guy for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let this sit for a couple hours, and then the top layer, and it looks like this. Fire warning. Apparently, resin gets hot enough to melt plastic. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> nice work. Wow. Nice. Okay, we got the part back at the hangar. We've got hardware, and the plan is going to be to put this, mount this on the interior of the bottom of the cowling. So I want to protect this. So I'm going to put just some friction tape right there around the outside, and we'll get this mounted. For the cowling ramp, the only thing you really gotta pay attention to, from my estimation, is that there's gonna be a vertical baffle right here. And so you gotta be, you gotta position it such that there's enough room for it. So I ended up scooting this over outboard on both sides just a hair to make sure that I got room for the, the vertical baffle that isn't installed yet. So that's something I still gotta do. But other than that, that was breeze. All right, what I'm gonna do to make this more simple is take the whole cowling off and install it. But rather than put it back on to get the money shot, let's go ahead and just take a look how it looks. Oh yeah. So my only concern is that it's not long enough, but what we can do is just lay up more carbon to make it longer if it's, if it's not cooling enough. But uh, what do you think? How's that look? But that should give you an idea. All right, we're gonna take off the cowling to get this mounted, but I'm gonna sign off here. This was the first experience working with carbon fiber, so thanks to Steve for helping me out and teaching me. Till next time, clear to rip.